Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar unos minutitos para que los demás compañeros se puedan integrar. Ok, ok.
Hey everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Friday. La otra semana terminamos clases, solo vamos a tener clases lunes y martes. Recordemos que si le llegó la encuesta de Insafor, no hay que hacerla, ¿verdad? La vamos a hacer el martes. Um, y pues hay que ir terminando la plataforma, que es de hecho lo que les voy a mostrar en este momento. So, this is the class of tonight. Y como siempre, aquí al final está la clase la clase, um, bueno, hay una pregunta en la que nosotros podemos eh, poner respuestas, ¿verdad? Además de eso, hay que terminar la tarea 18 fácil, simplemente de venir a poner cuál es la respuesta correcta y hay que ir terminando también la 19, esta es de escribir, ¿verdad? Dice, make questions using was and where. Hay que hacer preguntas y hay que agregarle was y where. Recordemos que si tiene un espacio de más, un punto de más, algo que no tiene que ir, entonces no me lo va a agarrar. ¿verdad? Son cinco nada más y simplemente tenemos que ir haciendo las preguntas. Cuando terminemos la tarea 19, hay que hacer la 20. La 20 simplemente de ponerle cuál de las dos es la respuesta correcta. ¿Ok? Y cuando terminemos esta 20, le damos next aquí. Y nos va a cargar aquí arriba. Van a ver que dice Final Exam. Y aquí está la parte número uno. Hay que darle clic ahí a lo que complementa, ¿verdad? La parte número dos, porque recordemos que tiene cuatro partes. Hay que hacer preguntas usando Wes y War. De hecho, esta es la misma que la 18, ¿verdad? O sea, igualita. Entonces, no hay que complicarse tanto. La tres también, ¿verdad? Simplemente de venir a poner la respuesta. Y la cuatro, que es de poner cuál es la opción correcta de acuerdo al espacio en blanco. Y ahí se terminaría la plataforma totalmente. Tendría que estar terminada el fin de semana o a más tardar el lunes. Martes terminamos clase. Do you have questions about the platform? Pregunta, dudas. Teacher, este, y el examen ahí termina también. Eh, ajá, la parte 4 es la última parte del examen final, sí. Ah, ok. Perfecto. ¿Alguna otra pregunta o duda? Yo sobre la plataforma no, pero me tiene preocupada lo que usted dijo que nos iba a hacer la entrevista. Y no ah, sé si sí. tenemos que prepararla. No, no se preocupe. Es una plática normal. Tratemos de escuchar. Ahí les voy a dar las indicaciones, ¿verdad? Es una, vale. pr una práctica. Y es para aprender, ¿verdad? O sea, va a haber cosas que tal vez no las conocemos, pero ahí las vamos a aprender. Bueno, muchas gracias. Very good. Sí, ahí sin, sin estar nervioso, ¿verdad? Porque es como una plática, ¿verdad? Es solo para, si algún día, pues, les, 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 eh, presenta la oportunidad de tener una entrevista en inglés, ya más o menos se van a saber cómo, cómo se van a sentir y qué pueden, qué pueden ustedes contestar. Ese es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Any other question with the platform? Okay, so let's check the attendance, my friends. Let's. <coughs> okay, so Alvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Present, teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdamez. Present, teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa. Present teacher. Present. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Okay. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Elwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Ulise Torres Torres. Present teacher, lo siento. Ah, ok. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. 
Present. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Good. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Mano Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. And Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Okay, perfect. So we are going to continue with the class. So let's see how it goes. <coughs> We're going to start with two videos. Vamos a iniciar siempre con dos videos. Tratemos de ver qué es lo que, de qué es el video. Yo sé que no se entiende todo a veces, pero si se entiende la idea principal, ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Y si tienes de repente alguna pregunta o duda, también, ¿verdad? So we're going to start with... El primero es un video corto. El segundo es un poquito largo, pero pues hay que tratar ahí. Let's see. Déjenme ver si hay subtítulos. Ok. Here we go. Now listen, teacher. Event management okay, is a let long me line. Just check here. Hold on a second. Sometimes that happens. Lo voy a volver a poner y me avisan si se escucha. Okay. Okay. Here's a very basic, but. Ahora sí. Yes. Good, perfect, thank you. Thought-provoking question that we're asked all the time. What is event management? In the simplest terms, event management is the process of designing and producing events. Events can be any type, size, or scale. Examples of events include meetings, conventions, trade shows, fundraisers, team building events, weddings, anniversaries, and birthdays. Event management is a lot like directing a live theatrical performance with the event manager as the director. The key elements of event management include 1. Understanding objectives 2. Establishing timelines 3. Selecting a venue 4. Planning for catering 5. Managing budgets 6. Acquiring permits 7. Coordinating transportation 8. Selecting speakers and presenters. 9. Arranging for equipment and facilities. 10. And finally, managing risk and developing contingency plans. Successful event management is both a skill and an art. It involves choreographing people and activities in order to create a spectacular show that leaves memories for generations. Ok, ¿qué entendimos en este pequeño video? ¿Anybody? Teacher, yo entendí que, que es la gestión de eventos y luego dice cuál es el proceso para diseñar el evento. Very Entonces... Good. Habla de reuniones, conferencias, convenciones y todo lo que la logística que se debe de preparar. Un poco eso. Very good, very nice, Blanca Ruth. Very nice, very good, perfect. Any other comments or opinion? Perfecto. Si captamos la idea general, that is fine. Después, cuando ya estén en el intermedio o el avanzado, ya van a entender casi todo, no todo, ¿verdad? Pero casi todo. 
Vamos a ver otro video. Este sí es un poquito largo. Eh, vamos a ver si al final me dicen que entendieron. Déjenme ver si hay subtítulos. Sí, sí hay. So let's see how it goes. The idea of the panel was really to talk to a group of people who are intimately involved in pairing up sponsors with events to talk about you know, how those partnerships work best, especially though how people on the sponsor side really evaluate pitches that they get from all kinds of event properties looking for money or product or whatnot. Both evaluate them before the event actually happens, you know, when they, they get proposals like what makes those stand out, what makes those make them sign on, but also how they how they measure those event opportunities after the event actually happens and decide if they really want to do it again. So we've got a great panel of people who are very, very involved in, in that process. Um, I'm going to introduce you this way. We're going to start talking this way. So over here first is Andrew Klein from AEG Live. Um, next is Tammy Montier, not Montier. I wrote it down. <laughs> I didn't even look. Tammy Montier from Revolution Marketing and Jill Palais. That one I didn't look though. That's that's that's, that's right. right. That's yes. Right. All these French names <laughs> in like job. five minutes. Jill Pollet, who is here from from Stoli at William Grant and Sons. Um, the person who was originally supposed to be here was not available anymore. But so Jill graciously stepped in to uh, to talk. We we still get the, the benefit of knowing how Stoli makes their decisions. So I'm actually going to start. Um, I just want each of you to just give a give a very like a 30 second example of kind of a recent sponsorship agreement that you kind of worked on, just to kind of show uh, the types of things that you guys do, and then we'll get into some questions. So, Jill, why don't you start? Okay. Um, well, a recent sponsorship that we actually just enter, entered into is the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Uh, Stoli is one of the founding sponsors. We're the official vodka. Um, and because it's such a new center, we were able to be built in organically into the entire arena. So it's been really exciting. It just opened, and it's just beginning. So it's really exciting. Very cool. Very cool. Tammy? Um, Tammy Montier, Revolution Marketing. Um, a recent initiative that I did was Governor's Ball in New York City, which is a huge music festival. It's probably the biggest music festival in the Northeast. And we did a Honda automotive activation on site um, that was very compelling, had a lot of social media components to it. Um, we communicated with fans before the festival, at the festival very experientially, and then after the festival. Terrific. Um, recently, I just finished a couple deals with your favorite artist, uh, the Biebs, Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> we, we represent the Biebs for his tour sponsorships. So we did a deal with uh, Motorola, um, and we, we did a deal with Ubisoft, which has a video game called Just Dance, and Justin Bieber's music is in the game, so it's quite an integrated uh, relationship for both Motorola on a global level and uh, Ubisoft uh, domestically, so the Biebs. <laughs> sure. So, a, a mix, but some some big names. Um, Jill, talk. I want to start with just the idea of you know, where you're sitting, you know, on the sponsor side, and especially a big brand like Stoli with a product that people are gonna like an obvious thing of hey, we want free booze. Just talk a little bit about how many requests come in and how you evaluate those. Okay, um, we get so many requests daily. It's crazy. I mean, the phone calls, the emails. Um, I mean, unfortunately, at William Grant, we don't have a uh, caller ID, so I don't even pick up my phone anymore because then I'll be on the phone for hours talking to but every is that single like, vendor. Is that five emails a day, ten emails a day? I mean, what's, what's the real volume? Um, anywhere, I don't know, a day, like five to ten, I guess. But that's a day, you know. Yeah. A two, one for me, one from Tammy. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday. Two one from, from you, me, you, one yeah. from you. So what's, how do you, like, what catches your eye when you're getting five emails a day? I guess basically I really like when potential partners really do their research first and really understand what Stoli is about um, and understand, you know, and try to convince me as to why this would be a good brand fit, a good consumer fit. Um, you know, sometimes I get proposals where, you know, the brand name, my brand name is spelled wrong and it's like, well, then you didn't really take the time, you don't really care. Um, or the old, like, sponsor, they left in the old sponsor name and it's like, oh, it says absolute still. <laughs> absolute. I'm like, delete right away. <laughs> you don't think Justin Bieber's a good fit for Stoli <laughs> Vodka? <laughs> might be a little young. <laughs> Why did I send that email? <laughs> um, so, you know, the, those two things are very important as well as, the ability for Stoli to stand out within an event. I mean, tons of events, you know, it's a cluttered, crowded environment, and we really, you know, 
kind of mandate that we're the exclusive category sponsor. We're the exclusive vodka serve so that we're not overtaken by other sponsors. Um, and then as well, um, even if we're not a title sponsor, we look for an event that has 360 um, activation. So there's media offered, there's PR, there's social media, and we could really do um, an experiential event on site. Like, you know, the minimum is just us doing a signature cocktail and having a step and repeat. Those are the basics. But we really like to activate our brand, give consumers that experience that they'll actually remember solely after they leave there. Mm -hmm. So it's about not just the like, what's good for me, but What's an idea? How are you really going like, to create something? Exactly. There, yeah. Like, what's that custom uh, sponsorship proposal for mm -hmm. Stoli? Terrific. I forgot one thing. You guys, if, those of you who didn't steal them, uh, you have the IML devices in front of you. you. If you want to text in a question to the panel, Howard's over here with an iPad. Those questions will go to him, and uh, we'll be able to, to ask your question through that device to the panel. So you can just text in, as you would on, on your phone, uh, text the question. Howard will, Howard will review them, and we'll check in with him in a little bit. So um, Tammy, why don't you talk maybe just about an, an example of something you worked on recently where it was like a super solid pitch that kind of hit some of the points that, that Jill mentioned about really, you know, the brand you know, liked it because it was the right opportunity mm -hmm. for them. Well, I think Jill made a lot of really good points about a potential partner being approached by a festival or, or an entity. Um, you really need to take a deep dive and do a lot of research before you even approach a brand. And you know, shame on anyone that doesn't do that because it's really mandatory if you want to get someone's attention. Um, and spell check is a really beautiful thing to make <laughs> sure that you know you're not sending someone a proposal with typos or another brand name. Um, but you know, what I find is you know taking a look online at other events that brands I'm going to approach have been involved with and getting a sense of what the essence of that brand is about from an experiential level and then creating a customized presentation that speaks you know to the points of what that brand is probably going to be interested in based on what recent history shows um, and I think you really need to approach it from a lot of different vantage points in the olden days you could just sell a sponsorship and a brand would write a check. It's so not about that anymore. It's about you know incorporating digital and social and all kinds of additional touch points for the brand to reach the consumer around an event, not just while they're at the event, but before the event and after the event. Um, and we recently did I'm just going to use Governor's Ball as an example again because it's such an amazing festival. Um, and the way, to someone who was speaking earlier mentioned, you know, treating sponsors properly, um, and that's another another part of it. I think that due respect needs to be shown to sponsors, and when they're putting forth dollars. Um, to a festival, you need to make sure that you're delivering on all the assets that you promised them so that they walk away feeling really good about it and they want to come back the following year. Um, we had an amazing um, experience with Camelback at Governor's Ball in June, and we did a, a survey of all the fans who attended the festival, and funnily enough, the free water stations <laughs> were, the, it was the most popular activation, um, and we set these stations up all around at the festival. We sold merchandise for the brand to offset the cost of what their sponsorship involved, and all around, it was just a very integrated, cohesive experience that, that delivered you know, against what, what the brand was looking for. And you have an example of a, another you know, good example of that delivering what, what the brand really wanted. We overpromise and deliver all the time. I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I don't have a lot more to add to that. I agree with them. I think a lot of the people in the room don't have the good fortune to represent Governor's Ball or um, Bieber or like you'll see Chad soon, like Bonnaroo, these big events. I think a lot of people in the room. Uh, are smaller events that may be seeking sponsorships that it's a lot harder to get through to people like Stoli. Mm -hmm. So I, I think if I were starting my own event tomorrow, there's so many things you need in, uh, in addition to cash. You need uh, marketing, you need uh, beverage, whether it's, uh, I mean, you know, through, legally you probably can't get free vodka uh, through a program, but you can get free water. So I, I think if I was sitting in your chair and you're not representing events that have 100,000 people in it, I would approach sponsorships differently. I, I, I never met anybody who didn't think that their property was Bruce Springsteen. 
Mm -hmm. You know, they think everything's you know worth tons and tons of money. But if you can go to Stoli and say, listen, you run pages in timeout every single week. Could you convert or tag uh, your media in timeout to help promote my events? You know, I, I'm going to have a VIP area where we're going to get free product and free beverage. Could you barter the product? Uh, that's cash equivalent because mm -hmm. you would have to buy that either way. Mm -hmm. So I think that you have to, everybody needs to realize they don't have Bruce Springsteen yet or Bonnaroo or Governor's Ball, but you have something that maybe someone like a Stoli would want, and it's a lot easier for them to get approval to, to tag a, a print ad or, or, or a social media post or something like that mm -hmm. than, give you, than write a check. So I think that's, you know, doesn't exactly answer your question, but I know people here don't represent necessarily Bruce Springsteen. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you both mentioned kind of the, the digital aspects of sponsorship now. How, how else is, is what's happening in social media affecting sponsorship agreements and, and also what sponsors are looking for? I think I hear a lot is just like content that he wants and that lives on after, and sometimes you want to own the content from mm -hmm. an event. So how, how is that uh, working its way into the agreements that you guys all see? I mean, I think, I mean, uh, events on their own, uh, it, it, as soon as, you know, a brand says to me, I'm going to talk to my media agency or my media buying, and they talk, use the word CPM, I, it, you might as well hang up the phone because it's, it's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. But because on a CPM basis, event marketing is a horrible buy. You know, it's what we, it's, I'm selling against myself. But now, if you can tag on uh, a digital component, you know, uh, it, it helps the CPM become better. Because if you're reaching 100,000 people or 10,000 people and you break it into the check you're asking for from the brand, on a CPM basis, it's much more efficient to buy media. So if you then can now sprinkle in social media and digital, and now the numbers of people you reach are much better, and then those people, the media buyers, can maybe justify the, uh, the existence of writing a check to you. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you hear you know, CPM, you might as well just hang up the phone because you're done. Right. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's a good point. I, at William Grant, we don't look at it that way. I think, you know, media is great for that broad mass awareness, but at um, a sponsorship, at an event where you could have that one on one interaction with the consumer, that is so valuable. I mean, especially for some of our smaller brands at William Grant, they really need that time to educate a consumer, sample them, you know, tell them why it's great. And you can't get that with media. So we look at it a little mm -hmm. bit differently. We, we wish they were all as smart as yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it works both ways. Um, but I think what brands are looking for now are agencies that can help them get ahead of the curve. And you know, there's Facebook and Twitter, and there are so many options out there. And I think those who will be successful going forward are the ones who are coming up with really, truly unique ideas that maybe have never been tried before and testing the water socially and digitally with those ideas and you know, really pushing the envelope. That, that's what's going to set an mm -hmm. experience apart. Yeah, momentum has a term, I think it's momentum, called digital. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, co copyright <laughs> moment. But it's a good term. Merging the physical with the digital mm -hmm. uh, is good. Cool. Mm -hmm. so. I want to go to Howard in, in a second to see what the, what, what the audience has. But I, I want to now just change to go like after the event. So we've talked about kind of how to make a proposal stand out, how to really like sell which, what an event property can do for a sponsor. But what are sponsors really paying attention to at the event and, and kind of in that proof of sponsorship afterwards to say, yes, I got the value I was promised and I will do this again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what, how do you measure things, Jill? Um, so while we do sort of look at you know, the, the press and media ROI, how many press impressions do we get um, and all that kind of stuff, we also look at you know, how many customers have we been able to entertain, incentivize, um, if applicable, how much sales have we generated at the event? Um, you know, because sometimes you could sell at the event, sometimes you can't. Um, with Barclays, you can. So what, what's the lift versus a year ago? Um, eventually, how does it affect our brand health measures? You know, um, overall awareness and attitude towards the brand and intent to purchase. Um, also, the branding content that you talked about, that's very important. We're always looking, looking for branding content to put on all of our digital channels. Um, and what else? How much is that, when you're, when you're having that conversation, you kind of decide, yes, we're going to do that again, or no, we're not. How much of that is five people in a room going, what do you think? Or, or is it like numbers going, well, check, 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 check. Yes, they hit it. Well, we're going to do it. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> um, a lot of it's internal response and internal feedback. Qualitatively, what did we think? Because um, it isn't an exact science. It's not all about the numbers. It's about 
we're trying to make our brand more relevant and cool in the eyes of these younger consumers, and that's not going to happen overnight in one year of a sponsorship. It's a longer term vision. So it is kind of a let's talk in a room and how do we feel about it. Mm -hmm. How, you know, with, with the, the people that you guys work with, what do you deliver to a brand to make them, when they're, when they're in the room, say, those guys were good, that was a really good, that worked for us? I mean, most brands that I work with um, demand a sponsor recap of, of some sort, and each brand and each industry sort of has different things that they're looking at. Like automotive, for example, they want to know how many test drives they did or how many people went to a dealer after after the event to test drive a vehicle. So um, normally before uh, the deal is finalized, we agree on things that need to be delivered against during this as part of the sponsorship. And then uh, we put together a recap for them. And, and it, it is usually, though, a combination of, to Jill's point, qualitative and, and quantitative, I think. But mm -hmm. some brands are, they really like the, the quantitative, and they're not concerned so much with the qualitative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there any, any measurement insights? Yeah, I, you know, I think before you know, you, uh, you're pitching a deal, client, uh, Jill says yes. And then before the contract is signed, I like to ask them, you know, how will you measure success when we're all done? You know, and really get detailed. It's a scary question because if you don't hit those uh, measurements, you may not get the renewal. Mm -hmm. um, but so how do you measure it? And then at the end, we'll look back uh, to see if we hit those benchmarks. And if you didn't, you know, you better get her up on stage and have her drink a lot of Stoli and have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's how fun did the how, how much fun did the client have at the event? Yeah, and so. yeah, you know the relationship. And the, exactly. the relationship. The relationship. Building. I should say better word. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, do we have a, a question from the uh, the audience here? Yeah, we have. Um, uh, we have a few. Uh, just real quick, someone asked what is CPM, so Andrew, if you could just explain that real quick. Uh, co co it's a measurement term in the advertising business, cost per thousand. So. Okay. Um, so a, a couple of questions, I'll just I'll pick the, the two or three that, that have been uh, uh, texted in the most. Um, one, well, you guys talked about um, ROI, about evaluating. Uh, Sponsor opportunities and proposals. Sponsor event, sponsor um, examples afterwards. So one question is: To what extent do you use third-party um, evaluations like IEG before committing to an event uh, to to verify what the coverage is and what the uh, exposure is at the event? Um, well, if it's a larger term, like a really large-scale sponsorship deal, then yes, we will work with our media agency, our PR agency, and try to get a value of the sponsorship based on everything within the contract that they're promising us. Um, but, you know, a lot of times we also do things like product donations, which are not necessarily full-blown sponsorships. That's just when we donate product, there is no fee, and that's more of a sampling opportunity. So in that case, you know, there is no evaluation that goes on beforehand. So, uh, and to answer that question also, I think if we're going to go out and pitch uh, the naming rights of a, a new arena or a new stadium or a new music venue, sometimes we'll use a third party entity to put together uh, the value because uh, we're, we're just salespeople and we could type different numbers and they may not be true. But if you have a third party entity who comes in and says, this is really how many cars are driving by the Best Buy Theater on uh, 44th, uh, 44th Street in the city, so if it's a really big project and we're asking for a lot of money, we'll invest the money in a, a third-party uh, consulting company to, put to, get, to help uh, support the pitch. We okay. need to wrap up pretty soon, so I want to hear... Wait, I have one qu uh, what, okay, this is, quick one. It says, great conference so far. Chad is adorable. Is he single? <laughs> Go Chad. I, sorry, Chad, I texted um, that one. My Twitter handle is in the program. <laughs> I'll, I'll Just offer tell your mom not to. Not to yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my mom would be thrilled. It'd be fine. Um, all right. I think that's Larry it. We're sorry. done for the day. I've got, I got what I needed. Um, quickly, quickly. Uh, give me a horror story. Give me a like. Sponsorship happened and it just went awful. Without mentioning names. You, you do what you have okay. to. Okay, <laughs> I, 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 I have a recent one. Um, I had a global automotive brand do a festival in New York in September, uh, 225,000 people. Again, a situation where 
we as the salespeople on behalf of the brand and the festival need to ensure that the festival treats our client properly and that doesn't always happen and unfortunately this client's activation was placed in an area that was not amenable to them getting the numbers that they needed of consumer engagement and it was a flop and we had to go back to the festival and request a refund and that's very painful um, for us especially because generally speaking um, you know that's how we make our money by selling sponsorships and when our client on the festival side or the event side doesn't deliver for our client it's it's really a problem Andrew I think you had a good turnaround story right and it went wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Made it work. Yes. yeah. I forgot. Yeah, that, I was actually so. Uh, was another so I'm here. Another <laughs> automotive company um, uh, was a sponsor of a music, a country music festival, and the the brand was maybe Toyota or Honda. Okay, so <laughs> the the main stage artist Toby Keith had a huge deal with Chevrolet. So the title sponsor is Toyota Honda, and all of a sudden the artist rolls a Chevy onto the truck. His video is Chevy, and it was just an absolute disaster. I was home in New York, and the event was in LA, and my phone was ringing all night, I didn't see. So we get a legal letter at the end of uh, the event. I think they owed us $50,000. They wanted a discount of, off this deal of $25,000. And they said, we want you to come in, meet with the CEO, all these hot shots, and you know, kiss the ring. So we, we, get, we go to this meeting, and we say to them, we got your letter. We, uh, we agree with mostly everything. We did make a mistake, but the last piece you said you want a $25,000 discount off this deal. And we we're like, we don't agree with that. And they're all sitting at the edge of their seats. And we said, we think you deserve $35,000 back. So we actually gave them more money than they asked for. It changed the whole tone of the entire mm -hmm. meeting. And at the end of that meeting, it was the first time we ever got a multi-year commitment uh, for the future festivals. Mm -hmm. So it's a 100% true story. And they said it was the, the client said it was the best meeting they ever had because they were thought they were going to get a big fight on their hands, and we gave them more money back than they asked for, and we moved on. And, they're, and then they're still a sponsor with the event, and that artist is playing again this year, by the way. So <laughs> I think uh, I think that's a great note to end on. Thank those were some great stories. Thank you all, Andrew, Tammy, Jill. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, qué entendimos en este video, compañeros. The relationship uh, between sponsors and brands, and how to they can they get a sponsorship with for uh, their their events. For example, they talk about Toyota and Honda and other brands. And for example, if they even is a su success, they will come back the next year. Very good, perfect. That was a lot and a very accurate information. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Catherine. Any other? Algún otro comentario? Uh, was about uh, the marketing that they do for the events uh, get a sponsor and what is uh they talk about uh concerts and festivals that I that they have and and the merchandising that they do in the for the brands. Perfect. Very good. That is also very good information, merchandising and many other things. Good. Perfect. Nice. Any other comments on what you get on this one? Okay. Very good. Es interesante todo lo que aprendemos, ¿verdad? So, very good. So, we're going to continue with the book. Unit four, I will be able to evaluate meetings, information, products, services, and trainings. Okay? So, creo que ahí está claro más o menos el objetivo, ¿verdad? So, we will be able to evaluate meetings, 
information, product, services, and training. And in the number one in the questions says, let's start. How often do you evaluate products at your company? Uh-huh. Do you evaluate products in your company? In yes. Company. Okay. How often do you do that one? For example, um, uh, premiums. Uh, awards or, yeah, prices. Awards. Exactly, a uh, company, uh, the position, the company, uh, the position de la marca or la mente del consumidor. Okay, interesting. So that is a uh -huh. very thing and you need to analyze merchandising and things and all, right? Exactly. Very good, perfect. And who is in charge of buying supplies at your company? Next question here. Who is in charge of buying supplies? Bueno, saben que supplies para empezar. No. Y supplies es como. Uh, como abastecer, no. Eh, abastecer es get supplies, sí. Entonces, okay. como abastecerse de suministros, ¿verdad? Que pueden ser productos productos que nosotros revendemos o pueden ser cosas para crear nuestros productos o para mover la empresa. So, pueden ser diferentes tipos de supplies. So, the question is who is in charge of buying supplies at your workplace? Nobody is in charge or you don't know who is in charge? I... I will try to uh, to answer that I understand for the question. Okay. Uh, in my case, in, in my company, is one person that is in charge about the buying the supplies. For example, to make orders for the uh, proveedores. How to say proveedores? Providers. Providers like labels, like bottles. Uh, like uh, what else? Uh, how do you say materia prima? Uh, raw material. That raw material and things like that for make the product in the company. Very good. So that all those are supplies. Supplies are different kinds of things that you utilize either to produce something or uh, for the company to, to move on, right? To produce something. Good. Okay, so we're going to do the conversation here. Como lo hacemos usualmente. Ahí ando yo, meaning Eric. Okay, vamos a repetir everybody. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Did you buy, Did you buy, 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 buy the spare part, part for, for the sewing machine? machine. 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 Yes, I did, Robert. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. The price, the price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Okay. okay, I need the evaluation of the product. product. Of the new product? Oh, the of the new product. new product? That's right. That's right. That's right. right. It will be ready tomorrow. It, it will be ready, ready tomorrow. tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Great. Great. Did, Did you order, order it online? It online? Or did you buy it downtown? Or, or did, did you buy it downtown? downtown? Downtown. Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Yes, yes I went to get, I went it, to by to get it by downtown. myself downtown. How was the customer service? How, How was, was the, the customer, customer service? service? Customer service. Customer. It was nice as usual. Perfect. So, do you have pronunciation questions?
The sea wind, teacher, sea wind. Sea wind, yes, yeah. sea wind. Sea wind, mm -hmm. sea wind. Okay. Any other pronunciation question? Machine. Sewing machine, right? Machine. Machine. Mm -hmm. By the spray or spear? A uh, spear. 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 Downtown. 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 Hay una canción que de hecho si se llama, no sé si la han escuchado. Downtown. Tipo a la O. Any other pronunciation question? Customer. 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 Teacher pronunciation. Second line. That's it. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Siwen. Siwen. Siwen Machin. Thank you, teacher. Any other pronunciation question? Okay, so we are going to practice. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Alvaro, Ernesto, and Blanca Ruth. Okay. okay. Hi, Eric. Hey. Did you buy the... Hey, man. Hey, Eric. Did you buy the spear part to the sea wing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need to evaluation of the product. Of the of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Did you order it online? Or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I want to get it be by myself downtown. Who was the customer service? It was nice as oh. usual. Very yeah. perfect. So now Josman Serrano and Jennifer Torres. Hi Eric, did you buy the spare, spare part for the sewing machine? Hello, Josman. Creo que no es posible para Josman. Bueno, entonces le va a ayudar Jocelyn. Okay. Um, yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. All right. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very good, perfect. Now it's going to be for Catherine Indira and Karen Sanchez. Okay, hi Eric, did you buy the spare part for the swimming machine? Sewing machine? Hello, Karen Sanchez. Ok, no puede caer, pero le va a ayudar entonces. Eh, Josma, ya puedo. Ok, yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. 
Yes, I did it, Robert. This price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Was the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order, order it online? Or did you buy in downtown? Yes, I went to get it by by myself dot them. How how was the customer service? It was night nice as usual. Very good, perfect. Now Irving Cruz and Rolando Cáceres. Okay. Hi Eric. Did you buy the spare the spare part for the trading machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. Okay, it will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order the order online or did you buy in in downtown? Uh, yes, I want to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice, as usual. Very good, perfect. Now, Carlos Dominguez and Edwin Quinteros. Hello, Carlos Dominguez. Sorry, teacher. I have a problem with my company. I'm sorry? Okay. Okay. So, esperemos, no sé si Carlos puede, right. Carlos Domínguez. Okay. No puede, Carlos, entonces le va a ayudar Brenda de Villa Toro. Okay. Mm. Hi, Eric. Did you, did you buy the spare part for the Sigen machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was $78. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's round, right. It will be ready tomorrow. Right. Did you order it online? Or did you, you buy a downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself, downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Perfect, very good. Now, Carlos Arias and Salvador Bernal. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part of the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was, was $28. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online? Or did you buy in downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very good, perfect. Now, Rosa del Carmen and uh, Fatima. Sí, por favor, Rose. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the for the sewing machine? Yes, I did, Robert. The price was seventy eight dollars. 
Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product? That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or did you buy it downtown? Yes, I went to get it by myself downtown. Who was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very good, perfect. Now, Eulice Torres and... Bueno, creo que ya pasamos todos, así que vamos a repetir. Uh, le va a ayudar... Eulice, le va a ayudar... Ah, mira, acaba de venir Karen Jamilet. So, entonces, Karen en Eulice. Ok, teacher. Ok. Hi, Eric. Did you buy the spare part for the sewing machine? Yes, I did. Robert, the price was... 7800 dollars. Dollars, okay. Ah, sorry. Okay, I need the evaluation of the product. Of the new product. That's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Great. Did you order it online or or did you buy in downtown? Yes, I want to get it by myself downtown. How was the customer service? It was nice as usual. Very good, perfect, nice. Okay, my friends, uh, we are going to check some uh, pronunciation. La verdad es que todo estuvo bastante bien. Spare part, recordemos, spare. Sewing machine, ¿verdad? sewing. Le digo que lo demás estuvo bien. Downtown, ¿verdad? downtown. Pero sí, lo demás estuvo bien. Chequeamos algunas palabras. So, it says, hey, Eric, did you buy the spare part? ¿Alguien sabe qué es spare part? Ok, spare part es el repuesto. ¿Verdad? El repuesto. Luego dice the sewing machine. ¿Qué sería the sewing machine? Máquina de costura. Máquina de coser. Very good. And then it says, you said, you robbed, the price was, vean cómo vamos utilizando ya el pasado, ¿verdad? El did aquí, aquí el did, ¿verdad? Y aquí el was. Yes, the price was $78. The evolution of the product, the product, that's right. It will be ready tomorrow. Ah, ok, veamos qué es downtown. ¿Qué es downtown? El centro de la ciudad. La ciudad. El centro de la ciudad. Very good, ok. Y luego dice, I get it by myself. ¿Qué es ahí cuando dice by myself? Por mí mismo. Por mí mismo, ¿verdad? Yo solito fui. Nadie me dijo. How was the customer service? ¿Qué dice en esa pregunta? ¿Cómo fue el servicio? Very good. ¿Cómo estuvo el servicio al, al cliente? ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí estamos evaluando. This is the evaluation. How was the customer service? Y aquí dice, it was nice as usual. Eh, aquí sería como fue, estuvo bien, como usualmente, ¿verdad? Como siempre. ¿Ok? Eh, la respuesta puede ser variable. ¿verdad? How was the customer service? Not good. Oh, it was very good, you know. Entonces, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Ahí es, that is the evaluation for the customer service. Do you have any question about this conversation? Okay. So let's do the uh, questions here. So what did Eric need to buy? Mm -hmm. The sewing machine. The sewing machine. Mm, okay, not the sewing machine. The spare, the, spare part. the spare part. Uh -huh. The spare part for the sewing machine. That is the answer. Very good. What was the price of the product? $78. $78. $78. Very good. 
And number three, how was the customer service at the store? It was nice as usual. Nice. Very good. It was nice as usual. Very, very good. Perfect. Ok, antes de irnos eh, moviendo, vamos a, a pasar lista nuevamente. Let's check the attendance, my friends. So, here we go. Let's see how it goes. Ok. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Presente, teacher. Good. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Blanca Ruth. Presente, teacher. Blanca Ruth. Ok. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villatoro. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Present teacher. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quinteros Umaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Good. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. Present. Good. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Good. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira Velázquez Castro. Present. Good. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua Hernández. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. And Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. ¿Te acordás de la Present, teacher. Very good. Perfect. So we are going to continue with the class. Okay, let me just check here and let's continue with the book. Oh, hey, Jennifer. I got you, Jennifer. Good. Okay. Okay, so this is a review. Este ya lo vimos. Lo vamos a repasar ahora con el libro. So it's the past of the verb be. Everybody, let's repeat. How to use the verb be in the past. How, How to use the verb in, in, in the past. Yes, no questions. Yes, yes, no, questions. yes no questions. Yes, no questions. Use the past of B. Use the past, use of, the past, the past of B. B. To ask questions about situations in the past. To ask questions about the training in the past. Structure B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Structure B plus subject plus complement plus complement plus question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Was the training interesting? Was, was the training, training interesting? interesting? Yes, it was. Yes, it yes, was. It was. It was. It was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. it wasn't. Were all the employees at the conference? Were all the employees at the conference? Yes, they were. Yes, yes they, they were. were. No, they weren't. No, no they, they weren't. weren't. Okay, ¿alguna pregunta o duda acá? Esto es repaso, pero igual, si hay preguntas, ¿verdad? Recordemos que para los plurales was, para los plurales were. Y como aquí ya estamos viendo preguntas, por eso va la estructura de esa manera. El verbo to be, que es was o were. Luego el sujeto, luego el complemento y luego la question mark. So, was the training interesting? Something like that. Y the pronunciation is very important in the questions, ¿ok? Was the training interesting? 
where all the employees in conference. That is very important. Si yo vengo y digo, what's the training interesting? Ah, que, que me dijo verdad, sabe que me quiso decir. La entonación y la pronunciación es muy importante. Preguntas, dudas. Ok, so let's do the exercise five. Ok, it says uh, read the following services and write questions to evaluate them using simple past and past of B. Then ask the questions to a classmate. Ok, vamos a hacer la lectura primero. Repitamos todos. On November 1st, on November 1st, I bought a spare part. I bought a spare part for the printer for the printer, for the printer at spare es at, at spare, spare ES. es the price was $300 the, the price, price, price was $300, $300. the brand was a ridwell the brand was ridwell the customer service was great the customer, the customer service, service was great, great because, because, because we received because we received, because we received all the information we needed all, all the information, information we needed, we needed. Yes. on January 2nd on January, January 2nd I bought the Ritz part I bought, I bought the Ritz part, part. That were requested. That, that were requested. requested. The price was $30. The, the price, price was $30. Each and they were installed. Each, each and they, they, were, they were installed. In the sewing machine. In, in the, the sewing, sewing machine. machine. The machine was working properly. The machine, the machine was, was working, working properly. properly. Very good. Pronunciation questions. Both. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Eh, es el primero o el segundo? Primero. Primero. Ah, bout. Ese es bout. 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 Spare es la siguiente. Spare, ajá. Uh -huh. Spare. The real well teacher. Ah, read well, así como está escrito. Read well. Read, read well. Receive. 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 Install it. Installed. 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 Esta recuerda que es requested. 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 Any other? Okay, very good. Ahora nos toca leer. So let's practice by reading. Vamos a leerlo todo, porque aquí estamos para practicar. So let's see how it goes. Eh, Álvaro siempre me dice que quiere ser el primero, así que empezamos con él. Es, es correcto, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> On November 1st, about a spear part for the print, printer at the spear is yes. 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 The, the price was thirty hundred. The brain was rather Riddle. Ridwell. Ridwell. The cost the customer service was great because we received all the information information we needed. El otro también. Okay, on January. 
Así es, January. January. Ok. Ok. On January, eh, second, about. I bought. I bought the rich, the rich parts that were request. The price was thirty hundred dollars. No, thirty, solo thirty. Thirty, ah, solo thirty, verdad. Okay, thirty eight, and they were. Installed. Installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Blanca Ruth. Okay, teacher. On November 1st, I bought, I bought, bought a spare part for the printer. A spare E. Yes, the price was three, no, thirty hundred. Vaya, ahí me la puso muy cara porque me dice treinta mil. Tiene que ser three hundred. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice? Three hundred. Three hundred. The brand was Ridewell. 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 The customer service was great. Because we receive 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 all the information we needed. On January second, I bought the rich parts that were re, 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 requested. The price was thirty dollar. Age and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Okay, very good. And now Salvador Bernal. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at Spar ES. The price was three hundred. The the brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January second, I bought the read part that were request. The price was thirty dollar each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Karen Jamilet. Okay, teacher. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the primer of the spare, yes. The Price was 300. The brand was really well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the rich part that were requested. The price was $330 each, and they were installed. The sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Josh Manserrano. <clears throat> On November 1st, I bought a spare part of the printer. A spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the reads part that were requests. The price was $30 is that they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Jennifer Torres. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at 
per US. The price was $300. Brand was equal. The customer service was right because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the red part that were requested. The price was $30 it, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Jocelyn, Anaya, or Amaya, I saw. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer as a square. Yes, the price was $300. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we re re received. received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the reads part that were requests. The price was $30. Each and they were installed in the sewing, sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now let's see, um, Catherine Indira. Boy, both. Both, both. Yes, please. Okay, one November 1st, first, I bought a spare part of the printer at the spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was Rewell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the real parts that were requested. The price was $30 each and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Karen Sanchez. Not possible, okay. Now then, uh, Blanca, no, Blanca ya lo hizo. Uh, Irving is ahí. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer as per ES. The price was $300. The brand was pretty well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the red parts that were requested. The price was $30. $30. Each and they were studying in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good. Perfect. Nice. So now it's going to be, let's see, Rolando. Okay. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at the Spray ES. The price was the price was three hundred dollars. The brand was right well. The customer service was great because we received we received all the information we needed. On January second, I bought the wrist parts that were re requested. The price was thirty dollars. Each in the each in they were each and they were installed in the swim machine. The machine was working properly. Perfect, good. Now Carlos Dominguez. Not possible. Okay. Uh, let's see. Edwin Antonio. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
uh, on November 1st, I bought a spare part for the price for the printer a spare ES. The price was three hundred dollars. The brand was really well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the ripped part that we requested. The price was $30 each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Brenda de Villatoro. Okay. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the printer at the spark. Yes, the price was $300. The brand was red well. The consumer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the rice part that were requested. The price was $30 and, and they were installed in the sewing in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now Carlos Arias. Not possible. Okay, let's see then. Yes, for sure. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. On November 1st, about a spare part for the printer at Fair ES, the price was $300. The brown was really well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January, Second, about the read parts that were requested. The price was $30 each, and they were installed in the civil machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Rosa del Carmen. Okay. On November 1st, I bought a square part for the printer at Square ES. The price was 300 The brain was really well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January, January, January 2nd, I bought the rich part that were request. The price was 30 each, and they were installed in the Seaway machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Fatima, Noemi. On November 5th, I bought a steel part for the printer at the steel ES. The price was $300. The brand was real. Well. The customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. On January 2nd, I bought the read parts that were re uh, requested. The, the price was $30 each, and they were installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. Now, Eurice Torres. Okay. On November 1st, I bought a spare part for the 
printer at Spare ES. The price was $300. The brand was great. Well, the customer service was great because we received all the information we needed. Very good, perfect. Ah, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. On January 2nd, I bought the rich part that that were request. The price was $30 each and they were in, installed in the sewing machine. The machine was working properly. Very good, perfect. So now, uh, la verdad es que la procesión estuvo bastante bien. Creo que hemos mejorado mucho. That is very good. So, remember this one is about, okay, received, requested, requested, actually, each, sewing, y lo demás, very good. Vean vocabulario. What is about? ¿Se acuerdan? Así ya lo vimos. Comprar en pasado. Compró. Compró. Very good. Comprar en pasado. ¿Y qué era entonces spare part? Repuesto. Repuesto. Very good. Esta también se puede decir printer. De hecho, es bien común decir printer. The printer. Uh, aquí es uh, 300, es 300 porque tiene el punto y lo demás es centavo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es brand? Marca. marca. La marca, very good. Um, let's see. About the rich part of the world. What's the price was? Each. ¿Qué es each? Uh, cada. Uh, no sure. Uh, cada. cada. Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces aquí sería como cada una nos costó 30, ¿verdad? Um, y fueron instaladas, dice. Uh, ok, the machine. Y la máquina estaba trabajando apropiadamente, properly. That is it. Do you have any questions? No questions. Very good. Ahora vamos al ejercicio. The exercise says, read the following services and write questions to evaluate them using simple past and pass or be. Then ask questions to a classmate. No vamos a hacerlo exactamente así. Lo que vamos a hacer es, en base a los dos párrafos que tenemos, vamos a escribir cuatro que pueden ser preguntas u oraciones. Por ejemplo, um, the price of the spare part was $300. Esa puede ser una oración. Entonces, basado en los dos párrafos, vamos a escribir cuatro oraciones. Pueden ser preguntas, pueden ser negativas, pueden ser afirmativas. Basado en las dos lecturas, ¿ok? ¿Preguntas o dudas? ¿Ok? Entonces, les doy tiempo para que puedan continuar a hacer esto. Y si tienen preguntas, acá estoy, ¿ok?
Hello. Did we finish? Are we ready? Vamos a compartir entonces. A ver, ¿quién quiere iniciar? Your teacher. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Me ha costado un poco, pero... Ya, para eso son las prácticas, no se preocupe. Ok. Eh, I bought a spare part for my car for eh, $30. Ok, very good. Esa está correcta. ¿Alguien más quiere dar las demás? ¿Alguna otra que, persona que quiera compartir las que escribió? Me, teacher. Ok, go ahead. How, how much did it cost a spare part? Ok. And how much did it cost? What, hmm? what kind of brand was the part the spare part that is another one very good what was the brand very nice perfect alguien más quiere compartir las que escribió my teacher go ahead uh, number one uh, customer service was great okay customer service was great number two was was is a question was este was uh, read well the brand okay number three the machine wasn't working uh, properly very good perfect y number four they weren't they weren't they weren't installed in the sewing machine okay very good perfect that's nice okay any other person wants to share Nobody else is. Okay, vamos a continuar entonces. Let's see how it goes. Uh, bueno, la conversación esta la vamos a hacer tomorrow, no la vamos a hacer ahora. Ahora vamos a compartir entonces. Vamos a hacer conversaciones. Ahora las vamos a hacer individuales, ¿ok? Okay, so we're going to try to practice individual, okay? I'm sorry, the dog is barking here, so I'm ready for that. Ok, very good. Uh, vamos a ver, uh, tenemos varios minutos, creo que podemos hablar varios, ¿verdad? Vamos a iniciar con Álvaro. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I fine, teacher. And you, teacher? I am very well. Excellent, teacher. Good. And uh, where do you live? Uh, I live in Santa Ana. Very good, in, I did in Santa re, Ana. Real, real city. Real city is very nice, very large, right? A lot of things. It's cool, it's cool. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, <laughs> and um, what do you do? I, English class, in mm. this moment. No, no. what do you do? What do you do? Uh -huh. No es lo mismo decir what are you doing que what do you do. ¿Qué significa, teacher? A ver, what do you do sería como 
qué hace, o sea, a qué se dedica. Ok. ¿A qué me dedico? Eh, I work. I work every, every day. Do you work there in Real City? Santa Ana. In Santa Ana. Very good. Bueno, está cerca. Yeah, it's very close, right? Is there is there any traffic from Santa Ana? Yes. Ciudad Real? Yes. Really? Much. Es uh, many, many, este, many car. And is uh, the traffic is in the morning or in the evening? In the morning and in the evening. In my okay. Yes. And uh, but is is a lot of traffic or is like normal traffic? And this uh, and this is the moment or in this month uh, is is este normal <laughs> normal very good that is nice that is nice good and what do you do in your free time in my free time uh, i go to i go to um i go to buy buy in the supermarket or with with my mother uh, uh study english okay very good perfect and uh what is the your favorite kind of music my favorite my favorite kind of music mm -hmm. is uh my favorite music is a uh, rock okay Oh, I like rock as well. Oh, good. Rock, uh, heavy metal. Oh, heavy metal is very nice. For example, for example, uh, Metallica. Metallica is nice. Mm. Un poco, uh, um, ¿Cómo se dice este rock? Uh, Ah, oh, se me ha ido. Ah, uh, Gothic. Ah, uh, Gothic, Gothic. Rock is very good. I really like that as well. Yes. Nightwish. Nightwish is very nice, yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank okay. you, Álvaro. Thank you for your teacher. Okay, nice. Now we're going to speak with, let's see, Brenda de Villatoro. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? It's okay. And you? Why okay? What happens? Are you okay? Are you really okay? Hola. So, everything is fine? No, entendí. <laughs> No, le pregunto si está bien porque me dijo así. Ah, ok, entonces. Um, I sleep. <laughs> ah, you are tired. Ok, very good. And what do you do? I work. Where do you work? I work in a supermarket. Ah, you told me that one. Yeah, I remember. And uh, what is your favorite kind of music? Um, my music favorite is music cristiana. Gospel. Gospel? Sí, la música que es cristiana o algo por el estilo se llama gospel music. Gospel music, yes, esa es la que me encanta. Okay. Do you, do you play any instrument or do you sing? Um, 
um, no, um, sing, yes. Ah, imagine. So you're an artist. Very good. <laughs> and do you sing every every week in the church? Uh, me pregunto si canta en la iglesia. Vale, le voy a repetir la pregunta. Cuando no entienda algo me dice, repeat please. Y yo le repito. Okay. Okay. okay, so do you sing every week in the church? Every week, ¿qué significa? Every week. Every week. Con. No, every. ¿Qué es every? ¿Sabe qué es every? No. Cada o todas. ¿Y week? Which es con, ¿no? No, ese es with. Week. Ah. Es semana, que se canta todas las semanas. Ah, no. Um, ¿Cómo se dice de vez en cuando? Yo no me uh -huh. Every other time, you can say. Or sometimes. Sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes. Ah, ok. Good. Very good. So I thought that you were singing a lot of times there. Ok, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, let's see Edwin Antonio. All right, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Nice. Hey, cool. And uh, where do you live? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Lourdes, Colón. And do you work yes. there in Lourdes? Yes, I work in Lourdes. Okay, very good. Interesting. And uh, what is your favorite kind of music? Uh, I have some type of music, right? And sometimes I like salsa and I like the romantic music. And when I go to dance, I like the reggaeton. Okay, right? so interesting. So do you... Uh, do you go out and dance uh, very frequently? How often do you go out and dance? So I go out with my friends mm, one time a month. Once a month? Well, that's Once good. Once a month, right. Okay. And do you go there in Lourdes to dance? No, I have to go to San Salvador. Ah, okay, San Salvador. Uh, and you go, I mean, what time do you finish when you go dancing? Uh, don't ask me that, please. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to discuss that, don't worry. And uh, very good, very interesting. Uh, so you like to dance and... Uh, there in those places where you go and dance uh, is only reggaeton or they also play tropical music like salsa, the one that you like? So uh, that's place uh, have uh, all type of music in all the night. Okay. That is interesting because, I mean, you dance different kind of music, right? Yes. Very well. Very interesting. What other things do you do in your free time? So I like go to the beach with my friends, our family, and I spend my time with my family. Mm, okay, very good. Very interesting. Nice. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you. Good. Let's see who else is. Um, Carlos Arias. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Ah, you have a rooster as well. Yeah. Ahí cantó uh, la cena de Navidad. <laughs> yes. No, verdad, quizás es más corto. Okay. So, and uh, what do you do? Uh, I operate the machine industry. 
Not very good in a in a factory. Yes, in Bonita. Okay, very good, perfect. That is very nice. And what is your favorite kind of music? My favorite music is the rock and reggae. Very good, rock and reggae. I really like rock. I don't like very much reggae, but it's nice. It's very nice. Yeah. And, um, what are the best? I mean, what are your favorite bands in rock and reggae? Rock, uh, Pearl Jam and Nirvana. Pearl Jam and Nirvana. Grunge. So you like grunge music? Nice. Yes. Very good. And uh, do you play any instrument or anything like that? Not for the moment. Okay. Very good. And what other things do you do in your free time? Uh, play soccer, play the game, play station, and visit my parents, or sleep, no more. Okay, interesting. Which uh, are the video games that you play? Uh, Call of Duty and play four and FIFA, Mario and sorry, the other Okay. Call of Duty. Okay, very good. Yeah, Call of Duty is very nice. I have seen that one. I have played that one. The other one's not that much. Mario, I remember it was a very good one. So it's a classic one, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, tenemos chance para una persona más. A ver, un voluntario. ¿Alguien más? A volunteer. Can I? Of course. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hi. Fine. How about you? I'm very well, you know. Very nice. And uh, where do you live? I live in Ilopango. Ah, you told me that one already. I remember. And uh, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, I like listen... Mm, English music, 80s and 90s. Oh, 80s and 90s are very, very good. Do you have any favorite songs? Yeah. Um, I don't remember the artist, but I like, uh, for example, More Than Words, um, any songs by Air Supply. He's Scorpion and others. Oh, very good, very interesting. Okay, and um, oh, I heard I heard that Air Supply and Scorpius are coming to El Salvador next year. Are you going to watch them? I would like that. That would be very good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it's not that expensive because sometimes it's very expensive, but. Sometimes it works. It works to go there. Yeah. I go like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like to go to concerts? Sorry? Do you like to go to concerts? Yeah, I go like it. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Okay. Okay, compañeros, eh, vamos a ir terminando entonces. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta o duda para la, de la clase de ahora? No question. No. Claro, no question. Tata. Very good. Recordemos una vez más, ¿verdad? En primer lugar, que hay que terminar la plataforma este fin de semana, o sea, ya mañana y pasado, ¿verdad? Recordemos también de que si no terminan, pues tienen el lunes todavía para terminar, pero es mejor hacerlo en el día libre, ¿verdad? No les va a tomar mucho tiempo. También, no sé si ya recibieron, uh, pero es posible que algunos ya se los hayan enviado el correo o en WhatsApp el, uh, la información para la encuesta de Insaforp. Recordemos que esa no la vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? La de Insaforp, no. Si le llegó otra encuesta que solo es del maestro, que es para evaluarme a mí, esa sí la pueden hacer. 
pero la de Insafor, esa la hacemos juntos el último día de clase que va a ser el martes, ¿ok? Vamos a continuar entonces el lunes con el libro, lo vamos a finalizar posiblemente el lunes, si no pues el martes. Uh, y el martes también tenemos ahí la actividad y vamos a hacer algunas más prácticas, ¿ok? So, my friends, we're going to check the attendance and then go to bed. Let's see. Álvaro Ernesto Alvarado Reyes. Present teacher. Good. So, el 101 de ahora es para Marlon Osvaldo. Eh, Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Blanca Ruth Orantes Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Brenda Jamilet Bonilla de Villa Toro. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Good. Daniel Eduardo García López. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Good. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Gabriela Jamilet Sánchez Martínez. Present. Good. Irving Isaí Cruz Mejía. I'm here. Good. Jocelyn Esmeralda Amaya Vázquez. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here. Good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Karen Lisset Sánchez Castro. Catherine Indira wow. Velázquez Castro. Marlon Osvaldo Paniagua Hernández. Present teacher. Ah, ok, good. Rolando Antonio Cáceres Aquino. Present. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night, a very nice weekend. See you on Monday and have a good night. See you next class. See you. Good night. Good night, good night everyone. Good night. See you on Monday. On Monday. Good week. Good weekend. Have a nice weekend as well. Good weekend. Teacher, no puede contestar el, el micrófono, me había quedado bloqueado, pero no puede contestar, por aquí está Hosman. Perfecto, ahorita. No, sorry. sorry. Thank you, teacher, good night. Good night. Hello. Hello, my friends. Do you have any questions or would you like to check something? <laughs> 